Um, again today we're having, not again, but you know, we're back with another Black History video. Eating foods that we ate as kids, growing up, whatever you want to call it. Sloppy Joe with some house fries. And some Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. Ah, some Kool-Aid. Yes. I ain't had Kool-Aid in years. Ain't nothing but a whole bunch of sugar. Yeah, it's like finna be eight o'clock, so it ain't no sunlight, but it look good to me. So hey, what's up? We're finna get into these sloppy joes. See what they hitting like. I didn't have sloppy joes like probably two years ago. Sorry, y'all. I was thinking I wouldn't want no mayo with my fries, but I do. And who said, uh, just make a shout because y'all don't know about no potatoes with no mayonnaise, especially potato wedges. And house fries. Sloppy Joe busting. Mm -hmm. Got a little cheese on it. Oh, we gotta be careful because Sloppy Joe falling out the sandwich. Mm. It was a good idea. This is so good. My sister was supposed to be gone here. But she was a friend. So I'm going to try to get these videos out of the way. So I can start editing them and stuff like that. Because I'm going to have to edit one a night. So I can make sure I'm posting it tomorrow. But these videos are not too long, so I ain't worried about it. Did any of y'all used to eat Sloppy Joe? Or how y'all used to eat y'all Sloppy Joe? Did y'all actually buy a Sloppy Joe can? Did y'all try to create y'all own styles? Some people try to use ketchup. Some people might use barbecue sauce. Some people might just grind the meat up and put it on now. On a sandwich. Because I was going to do house burgers. And then Sloppy Joe came to mind. Sloppy Joe it is. <laughs> I feel like I need some more ice. I need my drink sloppy cold. Y'all can get tired of me getting up. But. I'm trying to poke it with my nails. Put my nails for the hole in the bottom of these things. like half hot water stirred it to get the sugar in the pack right and then I put um the rest with some cold water so it still got like a warm 
to it, so I need a lot of ice so it can be cold. How y'all make y'all Kool-Aid? I put the sugar first, then I put the packet on top of the sugar. Then I put halfway hot water. I stir the sugar, the pack, and the water together. Then I added rest cold water. But me, I don't have a way that I do it all the time. I do it all different ways. But I always think I always put my sugar first. Never the water first. But that's me. I know people do it all different types of ways. The cooler air bust no make me want to make a um freeze cup honey dripper huck a buck where are we from they call so many things i was from tennessee and tennessee we call them freeze cups see in florida they call them honey drippers but there's i don't think just made out of the real ones i don't think just made out of kool-aid down here that's why they can call it a honey dripper Cause they be so good. They still sell them down here. That's how you know they busting. <laughs> the honey drip is busting. You gonna put a little alcohol in it. Get you right. And this sloppy joe is good. I'm full because I just ate the jarring bologna. Did the bologna ham sandwiches and chips. Woo! I know it's a lot of negativity. Mm -hmm. I'm going on this month for Black History Month. And all the arguments, a lot of drama on the internet. And Lord, I pray when I make, when I make it, I'm just able to mind my business and people mind theirs and not me. Y'all got one job. God gave you one job. God gave you two jobs. Mind your business and take care of yourself. Okay, that's all I need to do. Because take care of yourself can go with everything. Yeah, I can go with doing stuff for your family, everything, because that's part of you. And then you happen and doing it. But mainly, I know who wants y'all to mind your business. If people mind their business, the world will be a better place. I do what I do. You do what you do. If it offend me, I ain't got to deal with you. You ain't got to deal with me. If somebody posts something online that y'all don't like, you can unblock. You can block them. You don't have to follow them no more, however you want to do it. But it's no need for everybody to be like calling each other names. And it's like sometimes y'all forget that these celebrities are celebrities are humans too. Because some of the comments be rude. Would y'all want somebody up under y'all picture every day having something negative to say? Like, come on. Find something better to do. Y'all be in drama in the streets. And in the celebrity drama in the shade room and the on May page. Find you some business to tend to so they can be posting you on the shade room and people can be minding your business or whatever it is so you ain't the one minding other people's business. And then if everybody follow that trail, then nobody will be minding people's business. Because if it's up to me, Instagram want to take people likes away and stuff like that. Leave the likes. Leave the views. Take the comments away. Comments to me is leads to bullying. 
Because if you can't comment on nothing, then you mind your business. Because a comment, what does it mean to comment? You're commenting on something. Let me comment on this. No, it's not your business to comment on nothing. No. If you're not saying nothing, like um, Andre say, be loving or be nothing. If you don't got nothing that's nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Don't say nothing. You don't need to comment. You need to say opinion. Because that's all people stating on that. They ain't commenting. They stating an opinion. They didn't say opinion. Opinions here. Because that's all y'all do is give y'all opinions. Yeah, you arguing with the next person, their opinion. Oh, don't say this about her. Da, 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 da. You a hater. Da, da, da. Y'all be arguing harder for people than y'all probably in these streets arguing about yourself. Which is crazy. Put more energy in arguing over dumb stuff. Arguing about what's going on in your life. Because they life is a platform and you can see everything. Worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. Work on you. Oh, this negativity in black. Oh, and the black history month. Like, what's going on? Do y'all need to eat some of these meals and stuff? Because a lot of y'all forget this lifestyle. And everybody want to be Miss um, Filet Mignon. Everybody think they <laughs> Miss Filet Mignon. <laughs> Bougie. Oh, I make this much. Oh, I make that much. You die. You still a human. With zero dollars to a million dollars. You still a human. Money don't make you can fight. Money don't make you better than nobody. Money, it just means you might have followed your dreams, did what you had to do. But at the end of the day, it don't make you better than nobody. Like, I hate when I be saying, I get this a show. You get that a show. I get this every year. You get that every year. I get this. Like, who cares? <laughs> Who cares? That's what y'all, that's the money you get for what you're doing. Because if you love what you're doing to me, as long as I'm making money, don't worry about what's over here in my pockets. I don't care if it's $2. It's my $2. If I decide I want to charge, make people to come eat my food and I know my worth is $50, but I'm charging $20, let me do, you know, it's up to people to what they want to be. You never know what their blessing is and what their purpose here on earth is. Everybody that do something ain't doing it for the paper. Yes, you got to make a living out here and survive, but you also got to be a helper, a healer, and all that as well. You can't just all be for self. It's people in the universe besides you. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't like, like, that's just even in the regular world. You work here. You work there. So you ain't never seen somebody start here and then get it to there because you don't want to be talking about that person saying, you work here. You work. And then the next thing you know, they passed you. Because everything is just a moment. That's a moment where they are at right now. You don't know what could spin off and happen. Especially because you could be so negative that you mess up your blessing and they end up getting it and now you mad. You know, said it's all about them and now they boom. Yeah. Like... I'm going to mind my business. I don't care what dollar nobody got. I'm worried about my own dollar. My own dollar, 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 dollar bill, yo. <laughs> I'm only concerned with Regia. That's all I can be concerned with. Regia, baby. Mia. Who, who's better than me? What's more popping than me? What's more cuter? Like, love yourself. Be yourself. No matter how much you comment on people's life, no matter how much you love people, obsessed with them, you can never, ever, 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 be nobody but yourself. Period. So all that extra rah, 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 I don't need a fan base of bullies. I'm just going to say it now. I don't need nobody that want to go argue and say they life about me and you don't know me. Because who? Don't, don't, because I would never about y'all. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be arguing on now with no comments. Oh, this is my favorite star. You ain't going to be talking about her like this. Da, 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 da. No, because at the end of the day, I don't even know the person I'm arguing with. And then half the time, the celebrity or whoever you defending like that, not worried about them either. So uh, keep it moving. Let them keep it moving, please. Like, that's why I said I didn't take them comments away and make it say uh, Opinions, because that's all it is, is opinions. Like, don't come over here with that. Keep it to yourself, because I could care less, baby. <laughs> that's all it is. People can't just see something, disagree, keep going, block them if you get too much. Like, even on Facebook, you can unfollow them to where they can't see none of your stuff no more. So, 
do what you gotta do. But make sure you do it right, correct? My main lesson for y'all today is just to mind your business. Period. If it ain't got nothing to do with the name that your parents gave you, you gave yourself, or whatever the case might be, buying the business that pay you, feed your kids, you know, all that. Take care of you. You are beautiful. Yes, you are. I said, okay. Mind your business, yo. You need to mind it. Mind your business, yo. Because mm. if it ain't about me, if it ain't about she, we ain't got nothing to say, baby. I mean, it's okay to discuss topics and stuff because you see stuff on the internet. You want to be like, girl, how you feel about such and such? See, I do my stuff in person. I don't do my stuff in the comments and stuff. And if somebody were to ever, if I was somebody and something, and go to say somebody, what's her name, Kay? What's your opinion? Da, 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 da. I did. I came to her instead of coming on your page being messy. I was like, what's your opinion? You said, da, 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 da. Because guess what? Ain't no friends inside this business, so there ain't no friendly fire. That's what Don Tripp said. No, don't, don't. Copy only a few seconds. Only. <laughs> Kool Aid on point, baby. This off my thumbnail. Oh, do we need something in here first? Anywho, I guess I'm finna get off my video. This is the end of this episode. Yeah, we gonna come back tomorrow with some more. Okay, so bye for today. Cause I gotta go, gotta go. And I see you tomorrow. Bye. That was fake, huh?